So let's just stay with the NIH, the National Institute of Health, right? So the NIH uh, has $45 billion of money that it gives to like vast numbers of biomedical scientists. The way it hands out the money is that you have to write proposals and it's judged by your scientific peers, something like 10 to 12 percent of the proposals that get sent to the NIH will actually receive some funding. I've sat on NIH review panels. It's a big coup. It's like basically a marker of success that you got the NIH to fund your work. And so it's not just that they fund your work so that you can do the experiments you want, write the papers you want. It's that they determine the social status of biomedical scientists. Stanford, for instance, has this unofficial thing in medicine that if you're not successful at NIH funding, it's very difficult to get tenure. It determines a lot. It's not just money. It's like social status inside biomedicine. Well, um, and popularity probably, right? Like it's who you know. If you're a reviewer on the NIH panel, grant reviewer, people are just scared of you. They're going to be much more careful with you. It's a lot of power, actually, within this tiny little world of academics, of course. So, But people care about that power. And I think it is really like somebody's academic career is broken or made based on a lot of these things, right? This sort of consensus, insular, who you know, how you're connected, are you playing the rules or not? Is that fair? Absolutely. That's completely fair. A lot of academic life is... You go to conferences to some extent to like learn about new ideas and see, hopefully be challenged. But a lot of it is it's you're trying to make sure that people remember you, that they see you, they can hear what ideas you're working on so that when they get the paper, they're asked to review the paper or they're asked to review you for your tenure decision or for whatever else, they will be friendly to you. Again, I don't mean to be entirely cynical about this. I do think that there's some real relationships and real constructive things that come out of that. But there's certainly an element of that there this sort of instrumental, I'm engaging in these activities simply because I want my career to 